yeah, you put it out there. So in terms of improving finances, um, you know, set some goals. If your goal is to eliminate a responsibility, I don't like using words like debt or credit cards and things like that. But if you're trying to eliminate a financial responsibility that you have, make sure in October you're paying a little more than you maybe had to. If you can pay a little bit every single day and then you can affirm, I am eliminating this responsibility. I'm eliminating this responsibility. And when you actually are transferring money onto it, you're making it true. If one of your goals is to um, you know, pay off your mortgage, if you can swing it, in October, make an extra mortgage payment if your you know, financial agreement allows. If not, put some extra money away for your you know, extra mortgage payment that you want to make. And then you have that energy that you're putting out. If you want to travel, you can, you know, if you can take a trip, great. But research, plan, put a little money aside for that. Um, you know, if you want to release some weight. Um, you want to make sure that in October you're not gaining weight, <laughs> right? And so I don't like using the word lose. Um, when we lose something like our keys or, you know, so we lose money, it's, it's negative. And so right. if we can reframe that into releasing, then it comes, you know, it's a little bit more yeah. positive and it, yeah, it flows. Like yeah. I like so, that. Okay. Yeah. Well, it never fails every year. I get texts and emails from clients, um, you know, having, having small meltdowns because negative things have happened and they're like, Oh no, October is sucking. I can't, you know, I'm going to need to buy a new car. I'm going to, you know, those are clues as to things that are coming into your next year. So the unexpected Mm -hmm. stuff is really where that, that fortune teller insight can come from. So you can influence your year, but the unexpected stuff that comes in, that's really where you can pick up clues as to things you might be experiencing. Do you have more examples of that from like you or your clients? Yeah, I'll I'll give you a personal example. So one October, um, my dad had to have surgery and my parents live about 2000 miles away from me. And so I I have siblings, but I was the one who flew home and we're scattered across the country. Um, So, you know, it was, it was interesting that I was the one who went home from where I live and, um, you know, stayed with them, everything. And I was on that plane and I was thinking, this is the absolute worst thing. I would never put this in October. And um, fast forward, my dad ended up getting accepted into a clinical trial in the city that I live in. And they flew here every six months and stayed with me. So where in October, I was thinking, I'm going to be here all the time, doctors, hospitals, this is gross. It actually turned out to be the exact opposite. And he came to get treatment. And Mm -hmm. that was over 10 years ago. And he's Um, still fine. And that's far beyond what his prognosis was. So it ended up being a huge blessing. But I just thought it was so, um, you know, the universe is so much more magical than we give it credit for. You know, it could have been my sister that went home, but it wasn't, it was me. And I'm the one Mm -hmm. who, you know, it's foreshadowing that you were going to be the one dealing with this. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, but like I said, it worked out to be so positive, but at the time, you really could not have told me that. But I almost feel like the universe gives me these experiences so I can relate them back to clients and give give good examples. Oh, I see. Yeah. So if something happens to your car, just go, okay, maybe the universe wants to give me a new car. Right? (laughs) Maybe maybe that's what's in my future. Um, You know, one year I had a delayed flight in October and I was traveling quite a bit then and every month I was going, you know, somewhere. I was on a delayed flight every month, every month. There was a delayed <laughs> oh flight. But what it did was gave me time to prepare. I always made sure I had my cell phone charger. I always made sure I had a book and some work that I could be doing. So that was a you know foreshadowing that allowed me to be prepared for this experience. <laughs> right. So be really conscious of the things that happen in October intentional or unintentional, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then 
I also, um, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily watch a lot of news, but in October, I pay attention to some of the big themes that are coming out. If you think back to 2020, that those first COVID cases um, in China happened under that, you know, that end of October, October. energy, oh. right? And um, even last year, we had a lot of natural um, mother nature type events, right? Mm. And this year, that was one of my predictions was that we're going to, we're going to really hear from mother nature in ways that we have not even imagined. And that's where we've had, you know, I mean, the fires, the earthquakes, the, you know, boats sinking, like it's been pretty crazy. So that is all held in that vibration of the energy. So if you pay attention, you can prepare. Uh, so you're saying it's not just for our own lives. It's just the, the world, the collective as a whole. Like everything is foreshadowed in October for the next year. Yeah, it really is. So even if you look at, you know, politics and who's having trouble and, you know, who's in the news, that tends to show up again. <laughs> 